This is Nova 3D Ultra Clear Water Washable Resin. And let me say right up front that for a clear or translucent resin, it really impressed me. In this video, I'll share four light feature designs to help you understand how this resin might work for you. I've experimented with translucent resins in the past and have usually been, well, a bit disappointed, but this resin produces great detail and with good clarity. And best of all, it's water washable. This design here is my favorite, and I'll come back to that later in the video. Back in July 2023, I made a video about why I switched from water washable resin to using isopropyl alcohol to clean prints. And the main reason for that was because I needed to use tough resins, which at the time all seemed to need IPA for cleaning. But times change, and there are heaps of new resins hitting the market all the time. So when Nova 3D reached out and asked if I'd test their resin, I was particularly interested in this clear one. So first a disclosure, Nova 3D did send me this resin to test, but I'm not being paid to do this review, and Nova 3D did not request to see this video before being published. Now in this video, I'd like to showcase these four light feature designs so that you can see how the resin handles larger and longer prints. And then we'll also look at the accuracy and how the resin responds to sanding and finishing. And by the way, all these designs are my own because I just wanted to test how well the resin would work for my application. This first design is meant to be similar to a classic deco style rippled glass. The detail has rendered beautifully and the vertical lines in the design are all consistent and sharp. Now, look, it's a relatively simple model and you'd expect it to print well. But what impressed me was the overall clarity. And then I tried something a little different. After the model was printed and before post curing, I coated the model with some more resin and then cured it. The aim was to cure it with a high gloss shine. Now this works, but you need to make sure that the coat of fresh resin is super even to get a good finish. It's a simple design, and I really like that rippled glass effect. This design tested whether the resin could print these small detail lines consistently over a long print. Note there are no supporting structures between them. The print quality is excellent. All the spacings look just right, giving a really nice lighting effect. There's only one pair of lines that almost joined up during the print, and I think that's because well, it was 34 degrees in here when I printed it, not too dissimilar from today actually. And that made the print super flexible on the bill plate. And so I'd have to print it again in cooler conditions to test that theory. But overall, I'm very pleased with it. In this design, I wanted to test wider, flat, curved surfaces. Now these faces are only 1.5 millimeters thick, and you can see that near the base of the print, the surface is very smooth and round. And as it gets closer to the top, horizontal lines start to appear. Now look, I think that's because these top sections were unsupported during the print, making the whole thing, well, a bit floppy. But it's still a good result overall. And you can see here just how clear the resin is. And these round and rectangular holes have all printed with really nice detail. And take a look at how flexible the resin is. The website makes claims about the resin being tougher and warp resistant. And that definitely seems to be true. It can flex. And well, it also depends a bit on how thick the walls are and how badly you treat it. The resin has some toughness, and if you try hard enough, then delicate prints will break. And again, I should emphasize here that this print has a wall thickness of just 1.5 millimeters. But my favorite overall is this screw thread design. It's based on an M10 thread using the exact same dimensions and then scaled up and hollowed out. It's 200 millimeters tall and 115 millimeters in diameter. On this Anycubic Mono M7 just behind me, it printed in just six hours. And that's thanks to the fast printing time of the resin and the intelligent release features of these new M7 series printers. And that's worth a video all on its own. I really like the light this creates. Now I've always been fascinated about how threads are made and I've never got around to turning up one myself on a lathe, but being able to model them and then print them like this, well, it's just fun to do. I, I don't need this lamp, but I feel I just have to make it. Now let's take a look at accuracy. If you're a woodworker, then you'll recognize this as a dovetail joint. Now you might ask, why on earth would you print a dovetail joint? But that's another little project I'm working on, so stay tuned for more on that. These tails and sockets were designed to fit together with a 0.1 millimeter gap, allowing for some gluing. And you can see that the pieces fit perfectly. The sharpness of the corners is excellent, and I'm really quite surprised at how well this worked. I'm still working on getting these big flat surfaces to print flat and without warping, but I do think that's more about how the model is supported. So a bit more work to be done on that one. Now, these will need a bit more finishing when they're glued into the project, as any dovetail would. But these dovetail corners are so sharp. To get to this point virtually straight off the printer, that's impressive. But what about those supports? And do the support marks sand off easily? 
Well, look, I reckon most resins sand OK to remove support marks, but that usually means scuffing the resin, and since this resin is clear, you want to try and maintain the clarity. And you can see here that this resin doesn't disappoint. Using some 400 and 800 wet and dry, the resin finishes with a nice polished surface, maintaining the clarity. Now, you do need to be careful about changing the dimensions of your print if you sand too much, because, well, you're effectively just sanding away the print. But that depends a bit on what you're printing as well, so you'll just need to keep that in mind. It even takes a blade well. Now, if you need to create a clean square surface or a clean square edge, the temptation is to sand, but you'll never get it quite square. A blade or cutting procedure is always better, and you can see here that the resin planes quite nicely. Now, of course, you need to make sure that you have nice, sharp plane blades, but this shows that if you need to fine tune your prints to get a sharp square edge, well, this resin can do it. Now, a quick word on exposure times. Nova 3D does provide some basic information on their website about exposure, and I found that to be quite accurate. I did experiment a bit with exposure tests, but I found that, well, actually wasn't really necessary. They recommend 1.8 seconds for a 0.4 millimeter layer height. I use a 0.5 millimeter layer height, so I just rounded it up to two seconds, and all the prints worked just fine. I will say, though, that the recommended 10 second base exposure could be a little high, I found that eight seconds was more than enough, so just keep that in mind. So would I recommend this resin? Well, at $73 per kilo at the time of recording here in Australia, well, it's kind of at the expensive end. But given how easy it was to print with and the results, like the quality of the prints, yeah, I'd say yes. In fact, I'm kind of disappointed that I've used it all up. Anyway, there's just something really nice about using a clear finish when making light feature designs like these ones. And uh, well, being water washable, it does make cleaning a bit simpler. Yes, I have to admit it. There are links in the description below if you'd like to know more about this resin and how to buy it. I really do think it's worth checking out. And if you found that helpful, then hit the like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing. I'd love to know what you think. And one other thing, they did also send me some water washable tough resin. That's right water washable tough resin. So if you'd like to know how that goes, get subscribed and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.